Hi guys, um, my name's Katie, I'm new here to YouTube and I'm just going to start today um, by introducing myself and um, doing a little review on some bits and pieces that I've got recently. Not a thorough review but um, a good overview of the bits and pieces that I've bought. Um, I am a training makeup artist and trained to be a makeup artist in my spare time. I've been interested in makeup for ages um, and I've been watching videos on YouTube and getting tips and tricks um, so I can learn more. Um, and hopefully, I'm going to give you a little bit back. I'm going to start by showing you um, a palette that I got recently. It's the Shady Lady palette by The Balm. It was bought for me for my sister. She went to Orlando for holiday. Um, she asked me if I wanted anything as my birthday. And I said, yeah, this one. Um, I've seen it on quite a few different um, tutorials, especially some by Candy. Um, and she raves about this palette. Um, it's a fantastic palette. It's mainly a shimmer um, palette, but it's got some fantastic browns, a good bronzy brown there, um, and you've also got a really nice highlight, highlighter um, colour called Lush, Luscious Lani, which is a fantastic one. So I can swatch some of those for you because they're fantastic colours. See, a little glittery bronzy, and that's called Caught in the Act Courtney. That's my favourite colour out of this palette. Um, I'll just swatch this purple here for you. Just another really vibrant colour. Okay, um, I'm going to do a tutorial with this palette very soon, so you can see exactly um, what the colours look like. Um, but that's the Shady Lady palette by the Balm. I think that was thirty-six dollars. I think so. Good value. Um, I went away to Dublin recently for my first wedding anniversary. And got a few bits and pieces there. Um, I got quite a few bits. Um, we'll start with the uh, mat counter at the airport. Um, if anyone's been to Stanton Airport, it's got quite a nice little mat section where I picked up a few bits that I've been wanting to get hold of. Um, first aid Mac 226 brush, fantastic brush. Um, come out with Colour Crafted, and um, they had none on the website and none in my local counter. So when I found this was available at Stanton, picked it up straight away, along with some other bits for Colour Crafted including the infamous colour crafted lipstick fantastic lip colour really gorgeous wearable rose pink fantastic so um, it's fantastic for um, a daytime it's very wearable pink as well so it looks good on darker skin tones tan skin tones as well as light um, I then picked up uh, mineral skin finish and cheeky bronze which came out with colour crafted oh still got the plastic cover on. Um, I'm wearing this now on my cheeks. Fantastic bronzer, really shimmery. Um, real favourite from this collection. And mirror skin finishes are something that I've recently got into but really enjoy wearing this. It looks fantastic on um, as a bronzer. Um, I'll probably apply it with my um, Kabuki, my 182 Kabuki, which I'll show you in a moment, or even my one 150 blush or brush, um, just along the the cheekbones and in sort of your three motions, so you can get a good bronze look. Maybe a bit on the he on the head hairline up the top on the forehead. Yeah, perfect. Um, and then my only purchase from the um, Honey Collection by Mac. This is the highlighter. This is Honey Light. Um, which is just there. Really lovely reflective highlighter powder which I can use to highlight my cheekbones. I probably wouldn't apply it with my fingers but you may be able to see that. Lovely product. Okay, that's why I got it at the airport. Um, and then moving on, went into Brown Thomas which is a, a, a large um, store there. Um, and come across the Bare Minerals um, counter when I picked up some um, foundation Fairly Light which was Skin Match. I haven't done much with that so I can't tell you much about that at the moment but um, I'd appreciate any comments um, about how to use that because I've not used a mineral foundation before. Um, at the counter in Brown Thomas I also picked up the Viva Glam 5 lip gloss which I'm wearing now, which I've wanted to pick up for quite some time. Lovely, new favourite of mine, certainly. 
and, and how excited was I when I got to the airport and found that there was a Mac counter at Dublin Airport on the way back and I found the one thing that eluded me from the Hello Kitty palette it is the Pretty Baby Beauty Powder now this is fantastic not only is it cute um, but it's also got mirror inside which is fantastic I can carry that around but this is the most gorgeous beauty powder um, I've been wearing it all over just dusted all over my face um, with my blusher brush fantastic gives a real lovely sheen to the skin especially because I'm quite fair as well um, I like to sort of have something that's going to um, give me a bit of warmth when I'm wearing it during the day and that's fantastic for work and I keep it in my bag for touch ups as well but that was just a little gem sitting on the shelf in there, this little mat counter at Dublin Airport absolutely fantastic um, I also purchased Rimmel Sexy Curls Mascara um, at the airport as well um, it is a fantastic mascara put out by Rimmel which is a brand here in the UK it's got a very unique brush on it I don't know if you can see that it's got three little fatter bristles this is fantastic I'm wearing this mascara now and seriously just one coat um, of this gave me really full thick lashes um, this one's a waterproof version as I get um, pan dry and rub my eyes a lot um, so this is fantastic and I've worn it quite a few times and so far I can recommend it highly um, I will move on now because when I got home I realised there was a few MAC bits that I wanted so I ordered off the website um, I got a MAC paint pot in black ground um, for a lot of the black smoky eyes that I do a good base for that I got creme de nude uh, lipstick which is something that I've wanted for quite some time everyone's been telling me on YouTube that's a perfect nude lip and these are um, items that I will be wearing and reviewing in future videos I also managed to pick myself up some Select Cover Up Concealer again not really tried this one out um, but my colour is NW20 and I've been told that this will clear up my lip black bags really really well so look forward to trying that um, I've also picked up the Light Natural Mineralized Skin Finish which I'm wearing today and so far I love 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 this product it gives a real um, good finish to the skin over the top of my foundation um, I tend to use either a tinted um, moisturiser or a foundation during the day um, and this sets it off perfectly I also um, purchased a MAC palette so I don't know if you guys have noticed but here in the UK we weren't able to get these MAC palettes unless we wanted to pay through the nose for them on eBay but now they've started to do them on the website here in the UK so I purchased one and they are £10 each and I've just filled it with some colours here um, I've got Woodwinks, Brulee, uh, Mulch, uh, I think that's Night Divine, Carbon and Aquadisiac so these are the colours that I filled it in at the moment I've depotted a few um, from their pots a couple of them came like this when I ordered some just in the flat packs these are fantastic um, I will be doing a, a um, tutorial with those colours but I'm so pleased we can get the palettes now uh, lastly I um, managed to find myself a limited edition don't be shy blusher from the Barbie Loves Matte collection on eBay which I absolutely loved but again like the beauty powder I completely missed out on with the collection so a fantastic pink really lovely for brightening up the skin and doing a little pop of colour on the cheeks so that's everything that's my MAC haul um, I've got some Rimmel in there and the balm as well um, I am looking forward to doing more videos on YouTube and I hope you'll stick around to watch them um, so bye for now, big hugs